So, you're ready to export your mix from DJ Studio. With your mix open, in the top right-hand corner will be a button labeled Export or Share, depending whether your mix comprises of local music files or of streaming music from YouTube or Beatport. For details on the export options for the different mix types, you can check out the support articles as part of the Export Your Mix DJ Studio Academy tutorial. Today, though, we'll focus on exporting a local music mix. The export window appears, and our first option is to export a local file. You can export to high-quality WAV or compressed MP3, as well as MP4 video files that will contain any video clips that you've added to your mix and or a rendered beat matched visualizer showcasing song titles, artists and album art. Adjusting gain controls the mix's overall output volume. Repitch audio is enabled by default and ensures the best quality if your mix includes any tempo or pitch adjustments. For a quick draft, disabling this can decrease your export time exponentially. You can split your mix into separate files and even adjust where that split is placed in each song's transition or export a cue sheet, which, if you're burning your mix to CD, will allow track skipping song by song. Exporting as a DJ set creates a playlist for easy import into Recordbox or Serato or any music management software that supports the available file types. To import our playlist to Recordbox, for instance, we just choose File, Import, Import Playlist, and then navigate to and select the .m3u8 file that we just exported from DJ Studio. Exporting an Ableton Live project takes all the songs, transitions, adjustments made to volume and EQ, filter automation, changes in tempo, edits made to tracks and samples used and translates that all over to Ableton. Select whether you want your project file to contain vertically stacked tracks for each song or in DJ Studio's own style of horizontal mixing, with songs in your mix alternating back and forth between two tracks representing deck one and deck two. Exporting to YouTube renders the mix audio, video clips and visualizer effects to a video file just like we looked at before when we looked at exporting local files. However, here we can select export description to create a time stamped track list of the songs in our mix. The resulting text file is pre-formatted and once pasted into your video description, YouTube will automatically detect and timestamp song titles along your video's timeline, allowing viewers to easily navigate your mix. By signing into Mixcloud, you can then export and upload your mixes directly from within DJ Studio, or choose backup to export a copy of your DJ Studio mixes project file, which is perfect for transferring your mix so you can continue working on a different device. Whether you're preparing to share a finished mix or advancing to the next stage of your mix project, you should now know where to find whichever export options fit your workflow best.